This is Robert Michael Newsom, the second Master here. Newsom. And uh, basically, we're just going to tell you a little story about what happened in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All right. So we had gone to the wake uh, for our cousin Rashad, um, may his soul rest in peace. And we were spending the night following. And um, uh, prior, um, we were talking about all kinds of things we wanted to do. But during breakfast the next day, it was then that our mother, Angela Newsom, uh, decided she was such a fan of the coroner, she wanted to go visit one of his locations. Yes. Which, conveniently, was nearby. Yeah, so he says he was nearby. Especially my dad about it, like, we have to just go visit, you know, one place, come Pastor. on, before we leave. Oh, so Pastor. he's like, all right, we're going to find something that's on the way because we're not going out of our way for this. So we're Googling and we find something that's, I don't remember how far, I wasn't really paying attention, I was eating my food. And it's really probably like five miles or something. And so we just go there and we're driving by and there's this sign. And so my dad pulls it aside and... It was uh, at this time yeah. that uh, my mother had gotten out excitedly. Um, Lo and behold, it turned out to be one of the coroner's locations. Um, it was then we took a picture. Uh, I took a picture in front, and um, we oh, proceeded. Oh, of my uh, uh, it was like a sign. Yeah, and we yeah. Uh, proceeded to go a bit further. She took a few pictures. And it was then that, uh, my brother took uh, charge. That's where we. We went inside, right. we went inside the place. I didn't know where the front door was, the side door was, but she knew. Just like off top, she was like, "I, I, I love this guy." That and I'm like, "Well, then go in, then let's do it." And she's just frozen. She shook. So I'm like, "My dad's like, come on, just, just go in there with him, Mikey." I'm like, "All right." So I go in there, you know. Nobody is in sight. I hear voices to the left, and I look over. They're having like some kind of meeting. They want to disturb him, so she's just so silent, and she's whispering like, "Oh my gosh, his face is right there. It's a picture of his face." And I'm like, "Well, then let's take a picture." So I take a picture of her next to this dude's face. And I'm like, "Okay, so they're busy." I don't think he's there. Let's let's just dip. And she's like, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So basically, it came to it that we were just gonna wait until the meeting was over on the left. And so we're just looking around. You know, we figured we could. And it's like we go oh, to the right. On. There's this, and then we go over a little bit more to the left of the living room, and then we see like this like curtained off area. And that's immediately my mom was like, we got to go in there. And I'm like, all right, let's just, because at this point, I'm like, let's just take the pictures and roll. You know, I don't know who this dude is. I'm just like, let's take the pictures and roll. So she's like, get the camera out, get it ready. We're going to take the pictures and split. And I pull the camera out. She opens the curtains real soft. And it's a casket. And So she's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, this is perfect. In the coroner's office, there's a casket. We have to take this picture. So I'm like, all right. So I take and the picture. I noticed like the flower arrangement was kind of like, I don't know, I just noticed the flower arrangement at the time. I was like, okay, so we do that. And then we talk go. to the people that are in the meeting. And, and my mom's like, hey, no, he's not. And we're like, all right, we'll be out of here. We leave. My mom's looking at the, the pictures that we took in there. And she was just like, hold on, like this casket looks really familiar. And I'm like, you know, I did notice something about the floral arrangement. And I'm looking at the picture and she's looking at it and she's like, I think this was Rashad's casket. And I was like, what? And I look at it, you know, he looks at it, my dad looks at it. And 
it was indeed. definite. It's, yeah, it's got the floral arrangement, the color of it, it was for sure. The they fact all right now just came together, and we were just like, that's so crazy. It was kind of like after you know the wake, it was kind of hectic in there, so we didn't really get a chance, and we didn't get a chance to see the sights. It was kind of like so that was his way of just saying like we, we didn't have time to go to the funeral. It was the wake, and then we had to go. So. You know, we didn't get to say that final goodbye or anything. So, if anything, that was kind of him. And the way I saw it was kind of like him being able to reach at least one of us. Like, you know, it's been real, guys, you know. So, I mean, it was it was crazy how it all went down like that. It was, it was so coincidental. It just happened like that. We just happened to be in that place. I, if he would have went inside, the fact that I just happened like to go inside Girl. with her and just... He was saying by the hand. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, yeah. It was, he he it was, was like, you know, Mikey, I was a little bit cooler with you. No, nah, dude, because you were just a chump about going inside. That's what man. But it just so happened that I happened to be the one to go inside with mom, and he took the one in the sign. It wasn't opposites. You know, it was just how all the pieces like lined up just so we could take a picture with his closed casket one last time. It was like, you know, mind blowing. So. Mm -hmm. Too. Yeah, so I mean, just just telling you what happened with it, you know, it's it how it went down. It's how it played out. Yeah, it's, it's not, I mean, there's nothing yeah. exaggerated about it. I know a lot of people would be like, come on, dude. Yeah. Like, it, why would I lie about this for real? You, you can't see my face really, but come on, dude. Look at my face. All right, thank you. Yeah, thanks for your time.